Hey guys, I'm Mallory and this is Wessi and we're here with All About Cats showing you our recommendations for the best cat trees you can buy. So first off, why would you get a cat tree in the first place? Cat trees are intended to serve a few different purposes. The first is providing your cat some elevated territory or vertical territory as some people describe it that allows your cat to survey the world from above. So for an animal that usually spends most of their time around floor level, it can be really nice to get some height and be able to survey the world again from above. Especially if your cat is a little bit insecure or is falling near the bottom of the dominance hierarchy in a multiple cat home, it can be really helpful to provide this type of elevated territory so that they can get some space and feel a little bit more dominant in the home. Cat trees are also beneficial for your cat's physical health. Most of them provide some scratching areas so your cat can uh, slough off the outer layers of their claws while also getting a nice stretch and some muscle toning. They're going to provide an opportunity for your cat to climb and they are also going to be a nice place for most cats to lounge and sleep. Now, what sets a good cat tree apart from a bad one? Well, you're going to be looking at things like durability, uh, stability, you don't want a tree that's going to topple over if your cats jump on it. You're going to look for a tree that is comfortable and one that's well suited to your cat's unique needs. Does your cat prefer carpet or plush? Is your cat a big climber or would they prefer to have a tree that they don't really have to climb? Does your cat like condos and cubbies, places where they can kind of hide? Or do they prefer to be out in the open? You can think about these things when deciding which tree is going to be a good option for you. But overall, we're looking for well-constructed, sturdy trees that aren't going to topple over and which provide a nice variety of play and snoozing areas for your cat to use. So with all of these things in mind, I set out to find the best cat trees on the market. I spent hours researching the cat tree market and learning about the different types of trees available. I read hundreds of customer reviews. And in the end, I found about 10 different trees that seemed to meet our quality requirements. And once I'd chosen those top trees, I purchased these five and started testing them out in my home. So over the last few weeks, I've been trying them out with my two cats, Wessie and Forrest, and taking notes. I looked at things like how easy it was to assemble each of them, how my cats responded to each of them, and which types of cats I think would get the most out of each cat tree. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, if you're interested in more information, remember that we have a complete written guide published on the All About Cats website. So check out the link in the description if you like more details on these trees, as well as some additional recommendations. We also have links in the description to all of the trees mentioned here. So if you want to learn more or purchase one of them, you can do so using those links. So our overall top recommendation is the Aramark International Armor Cat 73 inch cat tree. Now the Armor Cat line includes a wide variety of trees with a lot of different styles and of varying heights, but I chose the 73 inch tree because it got great reviews. It has a nice generous height, but it's not too tall. And it also has a nice variety of play and sleeping areas for your cat to use. I also found that it was moderately priced compared to some of the other products in the lineup. So it seems like it could be a pretty good crowd pleasing option. So the first step in testing out this tree was assembling it. I found that assembly was pretty straightforward. It took me about half an hour to do everything. Um, the instructions were clear and the way that the entire tree came together was pretty straightforward as well. Once it's assembled, the tree measures 27 inches by 23 inches at the base and is again, 73 inches in height. So I found that this base size is a tiny bit narrower than some of the other cat trees I've seen. Combined with the height of the tree, this is going to make it maybe a little bit wobblier than some other trees. It has an 80 pound capacity and when my cats were using it, I didn't notice a ton of wiggle, but at the same time, there definitely was a little bit of instability. It's covered in a faux fleece material, which has some pros and cons. I think it's definitely an upgrade from the old fashioned carpet cat tree, which is going to get snagged and can look really unattractive uh, after it's been around for a while. But compared to that soft plushy material that you're going to see in some other trees, I can't really say if it's better or worse. I think it's really up to personal preference. Now as for how my cats reacted to this tree, both of them were willing to use it right away. 
I put some food on the tree and spritzed some catnip spray and they were playing on it immediately. But it was Forrest who really took to this tree. I positioned it near a window that she likes to look out of and she immediately started using it and sleeping in the little condo up top. She was scratching the scratching post, playing with the toys hanging from the trees and really exploring the entire tree with the exception of those little rope toys near the bottom and the hammock. Overall, I was really happy with my experience using the Armor Cat tree. It has a lot of different play options for cats of all personality types, and it seems to be a well-made rugged tree. One of the cool things about buying from this company is that they offer replacement parts for all of their trees. So you're getting a nice high quality tree and a good long-term investment. At $141.71, this is a moderately priced tree, and I think it's a pretty good value. Now, what if you want a slightly more diverse tree that offers more options for a larger multi-cat home? In that case, I would recommend the Cozy Cat Furniture Extra Large Cat Tree for Active Cats. Like the last cat tree that we reviewed, this is also a 73 inch tree, but in contrast, it offers quite a bit more variety. So the tree has two different condos, 10 scratching posts, three beds for your cats to lounge in, and three ball toys for your cats to play with. I found that this tree was pretty easy to assemble. It definitely took a bit more time than the Armor Cat tree. And once it's put together, the tree measures 25 inches at the base, and of course, 73 inches tall. Although the tree is pretty small at the base, it's not a small tree at all. It takes up quite a bit of space in the room because it has all of these different play and sleeping areas kind of extending off of the sides of the tree. Again, the tree is made from pressed wood and it's covered in this very, very soft plushy material. As for how my cats reacted to this tree, I found that both of them were willing to go in it, but it was only Wessie who ultimately really used it. Even so, he was only using this little hammock that kind of extends off the side of the tree. I didn't see him going into either of the condos, especially not the smaller one, which has a 12 inch diameter and is definitely a little bit too cramped for him. Um, and I didn't really see him exploring the tree in general. I noticed as I watched my cats going around the tree that it's a little bit difficult to navigate. It's challenging to get from point to point on the tree. So I think that this tree is going to be best suited to cats who are willing to do a little bit of hairy navigation. Um, cats who are more timid and not inclined to do a lot of jumping and maneuvering are probably going to feel less comfortable with the design of this tree. Overall, I would recommend this tree if you have multiple cats who will be sharing the same tree and you wanna satisfy a lot of different needs. That said, it is going to be best suited to cats who are willing to do some climbing and navigating because it really isn't all that easy to get around. I purchased this tree for $136.73. The next tree that I want to talk about is the Trixie Baza Senior Cat Tree. So as the name suggests, this is going to be a good option for older cats, cats who have mobility issues, and you aren't really going to want to or be able to uh, do a lot of climbing in order to get into their tree. So this tree isn't really intended to give your cat elevation. It's not really much higher than a typical chair but it is going to be a nice dedicated space um, that gets your cat a little bit off the ground and it's just a nice snoozing spot. And of course, it also has a couple of different scratching posts in addition to the hammock up top. The tree was pretty easy to assemble. I had it together in about 20 minutes. When assembled, the tree measures 19.5 by 19.5 by 27 and a half inches tall. So the tree, again, it's not really a tall tree. It's not something that is going to be useful for cats who need some elevation, but it definitely gets your cat off the ground. It's made of MDF or medium density fiber board and covered in this soft, fuzzy, plushy material. Now I have another Trixie Baza model, which is just a basic hammock without these steps for seniors. And I found that over the years, this kind of faux fur material um, has gotten quite a lot of wear. All that being said, my cats really like the texture of this fuzzy plush material. Based on customer reviews, a lot of other cats do as well. As expected, as soon as I got the Trixie Baza tree, Wessie was really excited to use it. I think he really enjoys this hammock design in general, so he hopped right into the tree and uh, lounged in the hammock right away. And over the last few weeks that the trees have been in the house, I think that the Trixie Baza Senior is the one that I've seen Wessie in the most. He really seems to enjoy hanging out in this little bed at the top. Now, I didn't ever see Wessie actually climbing these steps. He would just jump straight into the hammock, 
But for cats who actually do have arthritis or mobility issues, this could be really helpful. Overall, I was really happy with this tree. I think that it has a nice cat-friendly design with two different scratching posts, nice steps, and a comfortable bed at the top. Now, it's probably not going to be the most long-lasting tree, but overall, it seems to be a pretty good product, especially if you have a senior cat um, who would appreciate those steps. Unlike a lot of the other trees mentioned here, it just it doesn't really have a lot of bells and whistles, but it's a nice, simple addition to the home. Now, our next recommendation is another one that you see behind me, and it's also a Trixie product. It is their Miguel Fold and Store Cat Tower. This is going to be a good option if you have limited space or maybe you know that you're going to be moving in the near future and you don't want to have to deal with the assembly and disassembly that is associated with a lot of other cat trees. The tree doesn't require any assembly and it's really easy to just fold up and store or transport. Again, this is not really a tall cat tree. It's not going to satisfy your cat's need for height, but it is going to provide a nice area for your cat to hang out. It has a sizal scratching area, as well as a couple of ball toys, a hammock for your cat to lounge in, and a little cubby at the bottom that your cat can go hide inside of. So overall, if you're looking to provide some environmental enrichment, the Trixie Miguel Fold and Store Tower packs a lot of different things into one nice little unit. Now I found that the tower didn't seem to be all that well made. I noticed some loose threads and I've read some reviews from other customers who say that some seams ripped open after just a couple of days of use. Uh, I can definitely see that happening looking at the way that this tower is constructed. The tree measures 20.5 by 13.75 by 25 and a half inches in height. Overall, I think that this could be a good option if you're short on space and you want a little tower that combines a lot of nice features into one. It has a couple of toys, it has a nice bed, it has a sizal fabric scratching pad, and it has a little condo for your cat to hide in. Overall, it's a little bundle of environmental enrichment that you can easily add to any space without also having to deal with the assembly and disassembly that comes with a typical cat tree. It's also a little bit cheaper than some of the other trees we've seen here at $39.16. So our next and final recommendation is going to be a tree that will work for you if you're looking for something a little bit more stylish and perhaps, well, definitely something that looks like a tree, a real tree. And it is the On Two Pets 60 inch round large modern cat tree. Now this is a moderately sized tree that has somewhat fewer features than the others on this list. It doesn't have any scratching areas unless you count the turf at the bottom, which some cats may be interested in scratching, as well as the carpet on each of the platforms. It has just three platforms, no condos or cubbies or anything like that. So overall, it's a pretty simple tree, aside from the fact that it's surrounded by these fake leaves. My experience here was kind of mixed. Uh, it seemed that the instructions were written pretty clearly. Everything was pretty easy. I wasn't able to attach one of the rods uh, to the platforms at a 90 degree angle due to apparently a flaw in the manufacturing of the product, which was a pretty significant issue. Eventually, um, the tree was assembled and I got everything put together. Um, and it seemed to be a pretty well-made product. I haven't seen any customer reviews saying that they ran into the same issue that I did. So it doesn't seem that these types of defects are particularly common. But once I had the tree assembled, I noticed another issue that was a little bit concerning. So the tree is labeled as a 60 inch tree, which you would assume means that the top platform is 60 inches off the ground. In reality, um, it seems that the 60 inch measurement is based on the height of the top leaf, if you pull it all the way up, it'll measure 60 inches at the top of that top leaf. Um, and the top platform actually is 42 inches off the ground. So the round base measures 26 inches in diameter. And overall, I found that this was a pretty um, stable tree. Compared to the other taller trees with somewhat narrower bases, I found that the On Two Pets tree was quite stable. I didn't notice a lot of shaking and wobbling after it had been assembled. As for how my cats reacted, um, again, I was looking forward to seeing how my cat Forest would react to this tree since she likes climbing trees. Um, but in the time that I had this tree, I never really noticed my cats going into it. They didn't seem all that interested in it. 
Um, that being said, I also didn't really have all that much time to test it out. So potentially if I gave it more time, Forrest would discover the tree and start using it. Again, the platforms of this tree are covered in carpet uh, instead of any soft plushy material. So it could appeal to cats who don't like those types of materials. I did find an interesting review on Chewy. The reviewer said that their cat hates everything. He hates plush and fuzzy things. So it was really nice for them to be able to find this carpet tree. The bottom line is that this tree could be a good choice if you think that your cat could appreciate this type of design. If your cat enjoys slightly firmer surfaces and is not so inclined to enjoy plush and fuzzy things like that cat in the review, then they might really enjoy this design. If you want something that will add to your home decor in an interesting way, something that looks like a fake plant, and you're not so concerned with providing features like scratching posts, soft beds, condos, cubbies, then this could be a good option for you. I purchased this tree for $145.23. So that's it for our reviews of the top five best cat trees on the market. Again, if you're interested in seeing more recommendations, you can click the link in the description or in the cards to visit our complete written review of the top 10 best trees you can buy. While you're in the description, you'll also find links to all of the products mentioned here in case you want to check them out for yourself. And you'll also see a link to our free recall alert program in case you're interested in getting alerts every time there's another pet food recall in the United States. So I hope that you found this video helpful and that it gave you a somewhat better idea of which types of trees might be the best fit for your cat. Uh, if you enjoyed it and you're interested in more product reviews, buyer's guides, and information on all things cats, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll never miss an upload. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.